I think this next video is just a man in a suit, but I wanted to get your opinion. They move fast for a supposedly large humanoid, and the way they run looks like a smaller person inside of a costume that doesn't weigh much. They run with their arms up until they remember what they're doing and let them hang a little. Also, I'm not a cryptid expert, but I think something this large would probably lean forward when it runs instead of standing straight up. This cryptid finding thermal imaging drone manages to detect the heat signature of a cryptid walking through the forest late at night. It looks somewhat convincing at first, except for one glaringly obvious flaw. At 8 second, the arms become really floppy, and I think they are forearm extensions sometimes used as a theater prop. The suit itself looks good except for the arms, which look really thin, especially at 14 seconds, and stick out at a weird angle angle from the elbow. So while I have my doubts about this one, there is one thing I can't explain. It does seem to be giving off a heat signature, which I don't think someone in a costume could do. It should be almost all blue since the outfit has no circulatory system. Aldo's World TV doesn't know what to expect when he and his friend Amir take a drone into the woods from the safety of their own car. Where am I? Right there, right there. There's like something... I'm saying. I think it's a coyote. There's like something in the trees. Right there, you see it? It's right there, it's right there. I literally don't it's like moving, it's right in front of you, right there. Oh, it's moving, right? They aren't able to go far off the trail because of the thick tree line, but after a while they do see a mysterious creature down on all fours that looks straight at them. It has beady dark circles for eyes and porcelain skin that matches the description of a skinwalker, but when they get closer it just looks like somebody in a white skin suit on all fours. At least that's what I see. I don't know why they didn't just fly up higher for a better view and maybe follow it back to to its hideout. Instead, they for some reason go back to the car and don't report it to any park officials, which doesn't seem realistic to me. But if I'm wrong, then I wonder what it was and if it was near the trail to prey on someone passing by. Bruce Austin 3D takes his drone to Stony Point Park for some train spotting and promptly gets confronted by a large number of angry insects. This is near the same location where a boy was once hospitalized by a swarm of bees while riding his bicycle, and this is probably similar to what he saw as he pedaled for his life. I was surprised by just how large they are, more like the size of a full-grown wasp than the ones I'm used to seeing. Someone tell me what variety these are, because they followed his drone for a long distance and were highly aggressive. Here's a clue that might help. Their venom is so powerful, he touched his face after handling his drone, and venom from the bug guts burned his skin for 15 minutes of agony in his words. Here's a scary drone video that I don't see any way to fake. Stromedy heads deep into the bayou to see what kind of creatures would even be strong enough to survive. The swamp water is almost impossible to see down, and they're starting to think they might not find anything at all. But just when they're about to give up, they find what they're looking for. That's actually an alligator right there. Yeah, right there. Look on the left. No, we actually hit a jackpot, bro. <laughs> They're safe in their car and still nervous as one of the gators hungrily moves forward. Oh, he is. He is! Yeah, yeah, dude, he's trying to, yep, yeah, he's trying to eat us. Tell me if you think this gator is looking for a meal or looking to protect its territory. I'm just look, guessing. look, 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 watch, watch. If he moves this way, 100%. Oh, he is. Oh, oh, he is, he is, he is. A city skyline is interrupted by a tiny white pea-sized circular object that goes racing by. It's not an insect because it looks too large in proportion to the drone itself. Some say this could be a tiny spaceship full of creatures, but I think that's kind of a stretch. Someone else suggested this could be a pellet, and I agree this is a possibility. If that's what it was though, then there probably would have been more than one coming at the drone. Whatever this is, 
It never appeared again, and nobody has been able to solve this mystery since June 21st of 2019. This video was taken in Nuevo Laredo, Mexico sometime in 2015. The person filming had been hearing loud disturbances all around his house and grabbed a camera before running outside. He is trying to track the source of the movement. It sounds almost like a squeaky trampoline. Nervous birds are chattering loudly nearby. The cameraman zooms in on some of his backyard plants, but whatever is making the noise isn't hiding there. Suddenly, a series of loud bangs come from directly above. He swings the camera around and this is what he finds. What would you do in this situation? Maybe you'd scream, run for cover, or even grab a weapon. This cameraman stands frozen in place, however, too shocked to make a sound. Suddenly, the humanoid creature scrambles over the roof and makes a hasty escape. The person runs into the house and gets away. Both of them appear to be equally afraid of each other. If this long skinny creature is not CGI, then what could it possibly be? Millions of people all around the world wake up in the middle of the night for a midnight snack. And that's exactly what happened in this YouTube video published by Paranormal Nightmares. The uploader says her husband went downstairs in the middle of the night to pour himself a bowl of cereal. So far so good. But this seemingly ordinary trip to the kitchen at night quickly turns horrible horrifying. Okay, so we start here. He just grabs, you know, cereal out of the cupboard and a bowl. And right there, I'm sure you saw it. The cereal box just moves completely on its own. And what I like about this video in terms of authenticity is that the cereal box is coming straight from the cupboard. There's no possibility that it could be a string causing this. And right there it goes. And he's clearly perplexed by this, a little almost nervous. And right there the cereal box goes again. Some commenters on this video have questioned why there's seemingly a security camera set up inside the kitchen of all places, but the uploader has not responded to this. Perhaps they have them set up in various places in case of things like this happening. Of course, this could also have been done with the use of a very small string. But as far as I can see, it doesn't look like anything is attached to the cereal box. Plus, the way the husband reacts to this box moving seems very genuine. His facial expressions seem quite confused and a little creeped out, especially towards the end of the clip. Who wouldn't be freaked out if they saw their cereal box moving by itself? This YouTuber is fairly sure that he's captured a ghost on his dash cam when he's traveling down a suburban road and sees reflective lights on the right. Watch the parked car on the right to see what I mean. I personally think it looks like someone could be stepping into his line of movement here. It happens quickly, so I'll play it again in slow motion. Let me know if you see it. But when he pulls up to where the lights were, he and his friends are surprised to find nothing's there. Where did it go? Uh, public radio, internet. They, they walked in front of the car, right? Yeah, it was like a wheelchair or something. Both of them swear they saw the lights and thought someone was crossing the street. I guess his headlights could have been reflecting off of the parked car, but then again, the angle doesn't exactly seem to match up. Let me know if you see it and what you think it could have been. The last thing you'd want to see in a mall closed at night is a kid, or even worse, a child ghost. That's what a mall security guard in Brazil purportedly recorded at 2.30 a.m. The video was later submitted to Reddit. In the clip, you can see a small figure moving up what appears to be an escalator at a distance. What an escalator would be doing on at 2.30 a.m., I'm not sure. When the security guard races over to the escalator, the camera pans up, but there's no one in sight. It's also unclear if the escalator is still moving. Then it pans around and behind him in the darkness. You can see a child figure in white skipping across the linoleum. 
BNNRP in the comments translates the Portuguese. According to him, the security guard says, See, what did I tell you? Look at her there. This is the second time I see her this week. I had to film this to show people because nobody believes me when I tell them. Don't know about you, but I believe him now. This woman found her toy doll in a disturbing state, so she contacted YouTuber Luan Mendez to help her. Shared by YouTube channel Blah Blah, this video is trending in the Arabic speaking YouTube community. After these guys come to take a look, they find this cellar, they hear something banging on the lid. So they climb in to investigate. Cuidado. The doll of horror is inside, but after stepping away from the horror doll for a minute, this happens. Ah, boneca tá do mesmo jeito. Ai, ai! Cadê a boneca? Cadê a boneca, Pia? Que que foi? Cadê a boneca? Cadê a boneca? Tá daqui agora! Pô, ela tava ali, irmão, ó. Pô! It disappears. Where did the doll go? Was it possessed by something? Or did some slick soul do this to her? I have a theory. I think the doll was being used as a voodoo doll. That still doesn't explain where it disappeared to. But have no fear. The horror doll always returns. Lua. Júlio, é ali! Although you and I were probably not hoping for an encore for this one. Ruptured asphalt, a volcano of water, mud flooding an entire street. That's what happened in Ukraine's capital of Kiev in May of 2017. Published by KVN. This incident occurred due to a 2 meter wide pipe breaking while work was being done on a water canal. The footage shows the very moment the volcano breaks through the asphalt, toppling over garbage cans and gently nudging the cars in its path out of the way. Another camera angle captures just how high the mud reached. According to reports, the mud slushy hit all the way up to the seventh floor of a building. Miraculously, no one was harmed in the event, but some of these cars definitely needed a few runs through the car wash. This intruder can walk through walls, posted to the r slash ghost video subreddit. A scary figure was captured on redditor Ale Oops friend's surveillance feed at around 1 in the morning. The video shows a dark and empty yard. At first, nothing appears unusual, but watch the back doorway. About 30 seconds in, a pale figure can be seen walking from left to right. You can see it outlined in the dark doorway, but if you look closely, it actually shows up seconds before, appearing semi-transparent as it walks past the exterior wall and turns into the doorway, disappearing inside the house. While some in the comments think a genuine spirit has been captured, Others suggest it's a combination of a prowler and a distortion from the cheap night vision camera. Honestly though, either is terrifying. Is this creature a Nina Perro like the Spanish speaking YouTube community thinks? Or is it something even more nefarious? This video was taken in Mexico. This creature is seen scrambling down the sidewalk on all fours and not just for a brief moment, 
Other security cameras capture it continuing the four-legged walk all around the premises. It is seen scrambling around the building and navigating a narrow alleyway beside the home. While most in the comments are confused about what is going on here, a redditor writes, Somehow this is way more unsettling than all the cryptid clips I've seen. Cryptid or not, it certainly makes you feel uneasy. The next time you shower, don't look up. Published by Tia Bassi in March of 2022, this creepy video shows what could be the hair in your drain come to life. The clip shows a shower curtain pulled to the side, while up in the corner near the ceiling is this extraterrestrial-like critter. It looks spidery, but with even more legs than usual. It somehow also looks like a great pile of tangled hair. What do you think this is? I think it's time to throw the whole house away. Something is taking a hold of Michael in this haunted home. Published by D Doc Michael, the first thing this paranormal explorer finds is this unsettling sickle. After resheathing it, he continues his exploration, only to soon be disturbed by strange noises. The noises continue, reminding him that he's not alone. Yeah, yeah, thank you. He hears a rustling while he's outside. Inside, he hears something else. Then, while he's arranging some coffee cups, it seems as though he's been shocked. He asks the spirits to speak with him, but they don't answer. Although he does seem to hear something behind him, he follows it down a dark hallway into this room. Something seems to be happening to Michael, though it's unclear what. He returns to the same area to address the spirits, but it seems like the spirits don't want to talk. Instead, they get aggressive. What is taking hold of Michael? Whatever it is seems to want him to remain there forever. I think that's the cue to leave. A YouTube channel called Secret Guides puts out this video in 2017, claiming it was video evidence of paranormal poltergeist activity sent to them by a subscriber who was living in a very haunted place. See, this is what I get all the time. Do you hear that? The banging? I'm the only person in this flat right now. I don't even know where it's coming from. They creep around their apartment as more weird things are caught on camera, each moment creepier than the last. What the is that? The scary noises won't cease and now the television has turned on. Where did that even come from? <sighs> what is that? A shadow figure silently slinks across the doorway, and when he goes into the next room to investigate, it's gone. It's definitely. Oh god, you saw that, right? That looked like a human. There's no one here. This creepy video looks convincingly paranormal, but when I emailed Secret Guides to find out more, he told me they've since discovered the video was fake. Apparently a second person was walking around making the knocking noises and turning on the television. As for the shadow figure sighting, notice how they never checked this side of the room. Their friend must have been hiding in the corner where they never looked. I have no reason not to believe what he says, so I guess this video is really made up. If you see this video somewhere else, now you know the real story. An important lesson to take away from this video is not to be immediately fooled by a high resolution ghost sighting. And don't feel bad if you were fooled because I was too. Is your child seeing things or is there something to her visions? Posted by Call in 71514 to the Chills Narrator subreddit. This story and subsequent video will send chills down your spine.
The Redditor explains that her story begins in December of 2018. The couple had bought their four and a half year old daughter a secondhand baby doll. Things were pretty normal until they weren't. After about two weeks, Colin's daughter started breaking things for no reason. Thinking it was just a phase, the parents didn't worry too much about it. The daughter then started wanting to sleep in their room, saying a little girl kept waking her up at three in the morning. This went on for two months until her father got an uneasy feeling about the doll and decided to throw it in a dumpster far away. This brings us to the video in question. The daughter is seen in the room playing on her table on the bed. She moves off the bed shouting for her dad, then looks up at the window beyond and starts to scream. The redditor says her daughter claims she saw an old woman in the window. Exterior cameras didn't capture anything near their home. Considering the Redditor herself and her husband experience odd things in this home as well, perhaps this is more than just a child's imagination. A paranormal YouTube channel known as Exploring Darkness goes on a two-person investigation that leaves them in their words. Really an exploring video. Good what in what the world? I said we're gonna call this an exploring video, now I'm getting scared. <laughs> Oh. Knowing what true evil feels like by the time they're through. Oh, yeah. Is someone in here? in here? Sandy, there's the roof. Uh uh. We. Nope, 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 nope. On reviewing the video evidence, the research team sees a hooded figure at 3 minutes 51 seconds. Paranormal or not, there's no doubt that this is the person responsible for making all of the noise. Freaky, right? This video of a girl brushing her teeth is said to have been found behind a dumpster by a nearby worker taking a break. Deep voices on the tape sound like they must have been slowed down, but her toothbrush sounds normal, so I don't know what's going on here at all. After 14 seconds of this, movement is heard off camera, and she is ambushed by something that sounds not of this world. I get the impression that she was not aware that she was being recorded, because she never looks at the camera. Maybe it was even taken on the other side of a one-way mirror, or through a hole in the wall. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.